Ospreys were unbeaten going into this, their fourth match of the Pro 12 season, and in the happy position of welcoming line Justin Tipperick back for his first start of the season. Ben John returned in the centre, coach Steve Tandy also including Scott Baldwin and James King in his starting 15. The situation wasn't quite so healthy for Connacht boss Pat Lamb, who had to plan without the injured Willie Falloon and Jason Harris-Wright. He presented Craig Ronaldson a first ever start at number 10, having come on as sub in the previous three games. And the young out half was involved right from the off. He kicked a nerve settler early on to give the home side a 3-0 lead. But that lead wouldn't last long. In the sixth minute, Ronaldson's attempted pass was intercepted by his opposite number, Dan Bigger, who had a free run to the line for the first try of the evening on what would become a hugely significant night for the Welshman. Bigger converted his own try for a 7-3 lead. Within five minutes, Ospreys had extended their lead, the impressive Richard Fussell racing through the gap for try number two for the away side. Lamb will be disappointed with the space Fussell was allowed. When Bigger slotted the conversion over, it was 14-3 for Ospreys, and already Connacht were facing quite a trial. Ronaldson put another penalty over for 6-14 before Ospreys scored their third try of the game on the half-hour mark. There was a certain inevitability about the Welsh side score and a lovely crossfield move was finished by Eli Walker who had scored two tries in his previous match. Bigger missed the conversion but Tandy's side were looking comfortable at 19-6. The kickers then took over with Ospreys leading 22-12 at half-time. It was Connacht who started the second half brightly. Ali Muldowney sent Danny Poolman away and when he touched down for his first try of the season it brought the home side right back into it. Parks had come on for Ronaldson who suffered a slight knock and the ever-reliable Scotsman converted to leave only three points between the sides, 22-19. Osprey's response was immediate however. Tito Tibaldi got over under the posts after a wonderful individual effort. What a way to mark his first ever try for Ospreys. And importantly, it clinched the bonus point for the visitors. Bigger landed the conversion to put Ospreys 29-19 ahead. The crowd at the sports ground were getting great value for their money. And at the other end, scrum half Kieran Marmium brought the home side back to within touching distance of Ospreys with a well-taken try, which was converted by Parks. 29-26 for Ospreys and all to play for. However, it was Ospreys who struck next. Winger Jeff Hassler returning to the side after injury proved his fitness with a well-taken try, a fifth of the game for the Welshmen. And significantly, when Bigger put the conversion over, he became only the second player in Pro 12 history to pass the 1,000 points mark. That score, eight minutes from time, really was a vital one as it re-established a ten-point lead. And a couple of minutes from time, Alan Wynne-Jones drove over for the final try of the match, which sealed the deal for Ospreys. Bigger, who scored the last points of the night with a conversion, gave the Welsh side a 43-26 victory. It's a win that sees Ospreys go joint top of the table with Glasgow and already looking like serious challengers for this season's Pro 12 crown. Connacht coach Lamb will be hoping for a speedy return of his injured men. They play Treviso next. Final score at the sports ground, Connacht 26, Ospreys 43.